Hello everyone who can read, everyone who cannot read, and people who can read but choose not to, I am Borderwise, and welcome back to From the Depths. So this is a video that has been requested on and off occasionally, and I tried to record this one, got demoralized, threw up my hands in horror and said there's no need for this, and then people said actually please do it because, you know, we would like that. So. This is the keyboard shortcuts video, specifically for build mode. So, first off, build mode. B, you enter build mode. And then, for those of you who uh, don't want to listen to me waffle, uh, uh, like, endlessly, you go to options, key mapping, and you can actually, like, add, like, different bindings in here. I keep forgetting that. So, you scroll down to build, and here's everything you could do in the build mode. So if that's, uh, if you were just wondering where to find all these keyboard shortcuts, there you go, there they are. Like, you don't need to watch this video anymore if that's all you were looking for. But, uh, it's worth talking about, I guess, because I guess some people just like listen to me waffling on, which is a huge compliment actually. So, first off, build mode. B, you aim that at a vehicle you want to build on, or you can go here and go to new blueprint, and then you go, wee splat. And here's a new vehicle. We're not going to bother with a new vehicle. We have better things to do. So we're going to go over here, back to key mapping. Go over here, and I'm actually going to just use the ever wonderful uh, snipping tool just to snip here, so I don't keep having, so I don't have to keep hopping back and forth uh, into this damn menu. So next we have shrink blocks. So this is P. Press P, you shrink the blocks so you can see past them and through them much more easily. You can see the innards of this. Incredibly useful function, of course, because if you don't do that, well, you can't friggin' see anything, can you? So there's P, and then... Uh, this is a little bit out of order, but uh, you do... Uh, undo, redo. So this is skipping ahead of it in the options menu, because this is ordered kind of... I have no idea how this order. It's not in any particular order. Uh, so here we're gonna place a block and Control Z undoes that. Control Y redoes that. So that's very convenient. Also, I've just looked at the screenshot I've just taken, and a tooltip is actually uh, blocking out like a good third of the bloody menu. So that's nice. And let's see here. Primary action is mouse left button. I've already been doing that. So click, 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 click. That places stuff and. Rename block is Shift N. So, what's a good, a good example of like this being used? Is say you have an ACB, and it's controlling something. So you can have something like, oh, I don't know. Let's have a cram firing piece, for instance. Say I want to uh, make a variable muzzle velocity mortar. I've made a video on that, which you can go check out. Future me, remember to link that. So I can go Shift N. And I can name this block, so I can name this block Jimmy. And by gum, this block is now named Jimmy. And say I want a different firing piece to do something else, I can name this something else. And I can call it Steve, shift N. And then over here in the ACB, or in breadboard for that matter, you can have a search pattern here, and this can be Jimmy. And I don't think you can actually control cram cannons directly via ACBs, which is a bit of a bugger, but you get the idea. You can control almost any block specifically using this. And group remove is next, so in this particular case, we're going to go over here and we're going to make a whole bunch of rubber, so... One, two, three, da, 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 so... And fill, that's the F key, we'll get to that in a minute. So, this is something people keep asking me in my building videos, is how do you get rid of a whole group of blocks at once? Shift delete gets rid of a whole bunch of blocks of the same kind or a connected system. So if we go into our cram cannon menu again, say we have something like this, and say we have changed our mind, it, well in this case we could just snip that off, uh, but say we can't do that. Uh, so pretend this is like a zillion blocks and it'll be just too hard, you can go shift delete and you can remove all of that. So there's a convenient way of um, that, is, by the way, is a convenient way of, like, getting rid of a whole bunch of blocks at once. So, let me give you an example. So, this is probably where it's useful to have me show you guys this stuff. So, if we do something like this. Um, 
If I delete, if I delete that block, that doesn't get rid of it. But you can do this, get rid of all that. And if you do this, you get rid of all those. But if you just want to delete a whole bunch of stuff at once, uh, what you can do is you can add the master block. So in this case, it's a firing piece for crams or APS or the multi-purpose, uh, or the missile controller for missiles, or the multi-purpose laser for laser and stuff like that. You can add this, and then, now, Shift-Delete will get rid of the entire connected system, which is a very handy time-saving mechanic if you want to just get rid of a bunch of blocks uh, quickly, so you can move on to better things. Build style. So, F3 changes that. This is not something I use ever, and this is going to feel incredibly weird. So this is now mouse-based building, which the game actually recommends against using. I never build like this. This feels so strange to me. Feels so weird. I, although now that I'm doing it, like I can kind of see the appeal. You can zoom way the hell out and place blocks like this. So that's nice. So hit F3 again. And it's basically, the really what it does is that it locks your camera to the block you're placing. Hit F3, mouse building, and you can kind of freely rotate the camera around. So let's just mash Control Z and just get rid of all that stuff. Control Z actually um, goes back a long way. Like, there was a time in which... Let's go back to keyboard building because that's what I'm used to. There was a time where Control Z uh, and Control Y wasn't a thing in From the Depths. And how we managed to survive those days, I don't know. Those were dark days, uh, people. Anyway, so there's a build style. Copy, we've already... Oh, we, we can bring back some stuff for that. So let's say we have a laser combiner here, and another one over there, and we want to do some shenanigans with them, and we're going to call this Jeff, with our block naming. And also we want to make this a certain color. I don't know, let's make it bright red. Uh, control C, on the block, you can hear the tooltip sound. Control C. And you can control V this over onto uh, the same block type. So now this one is called Jeff as well. And it is also red. And just to show what that looks like. So it's here, this thing. This one's not named anything. And the color is not set. Control V. And now it is. So control C, control V. Very, very useful. Particularly with blocks that you place multiple times and like have a lot of fiddly settings so particularly for like things like seawiz controllers or ai or fight or firing pieces or stuff like that very 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 handy tool my goodness by the way it is basically just this shortcut so you can go there copy and paste Control c Control v and yeah that's that's that and what Control c Control v permabuilt uh, this is Control H. I didn't know about this one, by the way. So if we go, let's go with rubber beams again. So if we go Control H, now it basically a block is placed wherever you just hover your uh, mouse over. So I can just lean like so. This is something I wasn't aware of, and it's something I haven't really used before. Much faster way of placing blocks. So hold on, Control H. It does not appear to work uh, with uh, mouse building, which is interesting, so let's do that. Only works with the keyboard. But yeah, you can see this is a much faster way of placing blocks. You just go wee. Alright, and now let's delete all of that. Alright, do have to remember to turn that off. So yeah, that's something I should probably use more often because, you know, I just... I tend to go ham with the building, uh, just pacing lots of beams, so that's nice. Uh, build inventory. Alright, so this is something I've already been using. Hit E, and it takes you to the build to the build menu, and all this kind of stuff. And you can also get to uh, sub mode and prefab mode from here. We'll probably get to those shortcuts in a little bit. Uh, let's see, where were we? Uh, paste, control V. So, we've already covered that. We've got... Steve, control C, control V, if we've got Steve again, we've already covered that. Return to main construct is uh, the left tilde. Uh, so what that means is that if you have a sub-object, so we're just going to place a sub-object right here, and we'll put, I don't know, 
something like that. We've got a nice uh, horseshoe shape. So we're on the sub object now. We can't build on the main uh, construct anymore. So if you hit uh, the left tilde key, I think that's what it's called. Uh, now we're back on the main uh, construct and we can just uh, do that thing. Uh, build tools is shift E. And this is, this is a shortcut I keep forgetting about. I tend to get to this via the V menu, but there's all kinds of helpful things in here. Uh, search of a name of a block you want, click to select into build mode. This is something, again, I should use way more often because it's very handy. Let's go... What's something I always have trouble finding? Let's go... Air pump. Whoop! And there it is. Could, that could potentially be a much faster way of uh, selecting blocks, so let's try that again. Shift E. Uh, let's go with firing. Advanced firing piece, there it is. Yeah, that's very convenient. Like, I knew that was there, but I've never used it, so honestly, I'm learning things as well. And uh, now we're going to have to go back here because the friggin' tooltip is blocking my bloody thing. Let's go here. We. We have build views. This is something that people ask in the comments quite a lot as well. Shift P. And this actually cycles through a bunch of them. So uh, you hit Shift P once. Uh, you get this kind of, I don't know. It changes the colors of things to all be the same, presumably, so you can just see them. Uh, that's one. That's yellow. Shift P again. Turns everything red. Or not. Hello. Why you not turn red? weird but um and one more turns that green and then one more this is my favorite one so shift p four times turns all structural blocks uh invisible this is incredibly useful uh for uh, building inside uh a craft because it means you just you know you turn all the armor invisible and you can just see uh, all the non-structural blocks and you can just get on with your life and it's just so convenient and shift P one more time turns even more uh, things invisible, which is a little bit arbitrary and just... I guess you make them appear again by just hovering over them. And then shift P one more time brings us to this kind of multicolored thing, which I guess... Hold on, let's see here. Yeah, I'm not sure what this filter is called exactly, but it's different, that's for sure. I guess it's like a connection block thing. But anyway, shift P, whoop, hold on, shift P, not control P, shift P, turns the whole damn thing invisible. Not sure why would you want that. And then one more time, so let's go through all of them again. One, two, three, four, this is my favorite one. Five, six, seven, eight. So eight times brings you back to the regular view. Four times turns all structural blocks invisible. Extremely handy tool. Alright, so next subconstruct uh, is the right tilde key. So if we're on the hull and we want to build uh, on, say, our turret here, we hit the right tilde key and we're hopping on that turret. And you can cycle between different sub objects like this. So left tilde, we're back on the hull. I'm gonna place two of these guys. And now we're on this one. That's the right tilde, right tilde again, right tilde again, right tilde again, left tilde, back on the, uh, I think that's the tilde, that, that's not the tilde key. Square bracket, it's square bracket, sorry, I really hope people weren't confused by that. If you're following along at home, feel free to be angry at me. Uh, next is detection view. Is... Uh, let's see here, this is not something I use. Here we go. Oh, okay, so this is... not sure what this is. Camera, I guess. Oh no, it's cycling between them. I... let's see... Not sure what the hell is going on here. These are not labeled. So this is like... I think that is... what is that? Hang on, I actually need to see this. Whoops, wrong one. Right, so if I go here, that does nothing. So, that's in. First is visual, that's the green. Infrared is the red. Sonar is blue. Passive sonar is also blue. Radar is that kind of light blue. And passive radar is. Um, I'm not sure what color that is. And wireless detection 
is this kind of multicolored bouncy thing. So in build mode, you cycle between all of these. I wasn't really using that, was I? So here, visual. No, that's visual. The first one was radar. This is visual. That is... No, that's radar. This would be... Passive radar. Passive sonar. Sonar. Now I don't know what the hell that is. And the wireless um, is not in there. Right, that's something I haven't encountered. Maybe I... Wow. I'm learning things as we're going through here. Uh, let's see here. Block picker. Once again... My screenshot helps me not. Let's go here. We... Alright, block picker R. Swap current. Oh! That is something I forget to talk about because I literally don't think about it. It's just reflex by now. So R uh, just lets you select whatever block you hover over. So here I am. Over a wooden block. Selected by R. Over a laser combiner. R. Place it. Over a wooden beam over here. R. Place it. It doesn't only copy the block, by the way, it also copies the orientation of it, so it's just incredibly convenient. So we do that, R, do that, R, do that. Very convenient. Very, very convenient. And back over here, where was I? Lock picker, display physics. Displaying physics, that's another one. So this is, what's it, backslash, I think it is. The thing just beneath the backspace key on your keyboard. Uh, what this does is, it just shows your physics, and for this, actually, we're going to make a new uh, blueprint, and we're going to go here, and just plonk an alloy hull over here, like so. And so, if we build on this felt, whoops, excuse you. Oh, wait, no, I did that wrong. Whoopsie daisy. Right, new blueprint, vehicle, we splat, and... Prefab mode, we'll get to that in a second. Do, 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 do. There. So now, I'm already using like way more shortcuts. So here, the backslash, uh, you can see all the um, all the physics things that are happening on it. So blue, that's the mass. You have the red drag, and you have the buoyancy over there. And it's all just very convenient to show you what physics are acting on this, which is very helpful uh, for seeing if your propulsion is in the right place, if it's too low, your craft is going to pitch up. If it's too high, it's going to pitch forward. That's a whole thing. That is a whole can of worms. Let's turn that off. Uh, display physics. Prefab mode. I've already done this by accident. So control... That's basically this thing over here. So control P, and this actually is a prefab. And we've just placed that very elegant uh, boat thing right there. I actually really like that hull. It's very good looking. And all your save prefabs. Uh, by the way, in here, middle mouse click, or in my case, not middle mouse click, because my middle mouse bu button is broken. Go to load a save pre prefabs, and let's, I don't know, I'm just going to put an 11 by 11 circle right here, just for giggles. So yeah, that's how you get into that. Control P, Control P gets you out of it again. Uh, where are we? Mirror mode! Oh, this is excellent. Let's just double check that I know what that is, because I'm just that paranoid. Mirror is N. So, N places your mirror mode, and you can just have a lovely mirror, like so. I'm just going to, for fun, do Control H. We And now we're too far away for some reason. <laughs> and let's do Control H again, and delete, and there it goes. Mirror mode is fantastic. Wonderful, wonderful thing. Also, weirdly enough, uh, From the Depths has one of the best mirror modes in any building game I've ever played. Admittedly, I haven't played that many. And cutaway view. This is something I keep forgetting to use, but it's very good. So, end. And the left right cutter is something like this. Cutting above. Something like that. And that allows you to look right in there. Uh, what was it? Shift E, was it? No, it's end. I already forgot. So, and cut below. There we go. Lovely, lovely. So this is very... Ooh, let's actually spawn in a... Uh, hold on, let's turn that off completely. Cutting off. Let's spawn in an actual ship. Just a random little ship. 
Where is my random ship? Here's my little starting thingy. And turn you off. And we're going to go here. We're going to go... This is great, actually, for showing off the internals of a craft. So let's go here. Left, right cutter. By about... Let's go 5 meters. Actually, hold on. How wide is this? 21. So we want about... Um, we want about 10 meters. So let's go... End. Left, right cutter. Cutting above. No, cutting below. Whoa, okay, nope. And cut above. Interesting. There we go. Oh, it's from the middle. Alright, I just learned that. I am learning things. So now we've got this little cross section of what this little guy is. This is something I really need to learn. Uh, or keep in mind uh, to use in videos more often because this is so convenient for just showing off um, Just what the innards of your thing look like you can see here. It's got kind of um, We've got engines in here. We've got this kind of internal slopage. Let's just reverse that quickly. So let's go end and Cut below and we can see the other side and hopefully you can see better just how many slopes are in this thing Jolly jolly good. That's such a good thing. I keep forgetting to use it. And, and then sub-object mode. So you just sit there. What the hell? You're not... Okay, let's um, let's turn that off. Cutting off. Because otherwise I'll be scared and traumatized. Okay, where were we? Could we view sub-object mode? Control zero. Control zero. You get to sub-object mode. You can place whatever save sub-object you have. That, by the way, is the shortcut for just going in here. And you can just place all kinds of stuff like that this is our placeholder from before and you can enter and exit um actually you enter it by control zero you exit it by pressing escape so there we go jolly good jolly jolly jolly, jolly good and then central mirror mode oh mwah, this is a wonderful shortcut life got so better when i learned how to do this so this is uh mirror mode by the way it's just n and you get rid of it just by tapping it a few more times Alt end puts mirror mode down your center line, and it is incredibly convenient. Seriously, like, particularly if you're lost in the guts of your craft, and if your craft's very big and you can't really see what's going on, hitting Alt N just foolproof puts a uh, mirror line down the center of it. You can see on our preview block here where the arrow is pointing, dead center. Very convenient. Alt N. Can't live without it. If you took it away from me, I would cry. Uh, now what? D disable connection rules. Oh, this is another one that's very useful. So, uh, I can't place blocks willy-nilly uh, all over the place. But, if you hit backspace, you can essentially place blocks uh, just wherever you want, regardless of whether they can actually connect to anything or not. Uh, and then, if you hit backspace again, it applies the connection rules, gives you a little warning, reactivate, and those blocks are not with us anymore but this is handy if you just want to do something like oh i don't know you want to it's actually handy for filling so what do we got here we've got a whole bunch of missiles let's turn that off so we got a whole bunch of missiles like so and we got gantries like so so i could go down here and place all them all or i could hit backspace Block that in, and then hit F, and that's really convenient. So, there are... It's a very fast way to build, actually, if you use the backspace shortcut and turn connection rules off temporarily. You just gotta remember to turn it, like, um... To turn it back on before your, uh, craft gets into combat and takes damage, because otherwise, like, you know, from the dirt kind of throws a hissy fit at you. Okay, so, rotate block, that is tab, so what's a good rotatable block? Uh, cannon is a good rotatable block. So, what you do is, this is another one I don't even think about anymore. Uh, so, you hold tab. Actually, let's put it up here for giggles. So, hold tab, you have, um, actually the floating commands right there. So, E, rotate it like so. It's relative to the, to the camera, by the way. So, E and Q rotates it left and right. And A and D rotates it 
Well, no. Q and E rotates it like uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise. And so something like that. So Q, E, and let's do one more. D and A rotates it uh, left and right. And W, hold on. Let's show that off. And W and S rotates it forward and backwards. So that's very handy. Again, this is one of the first things you learn in From the Depths when building. So, I don't know. Good to mention it because, like, it's so basic I forgot it was a thing. You just don't think about it anymore. And Phil, we've already covered that, but it's worth covering again. I'm going to use my one of my new favorite shortcuts. Uh, so we're going to go... Actually going to go here. We're going to go... So, actually no, this is my new favorite, hold on, oi, there we go, and remember to turn that off, Phil, you just aim your cursor at a, um, a enclosed space and hit F, it fills it, uh, you can't, it has to be enclosed by the way, if I try it over here, you get that little error noise, and you have to aim it right as well. So we're going to go here, if I aim it forward, doesn't work, if I aim it this way, doesn't work. You have to actually aim um, your camera, like, at uh, the gap, so to speak. Like you're looking through it, and then it works. Lovely. Alright, this, alright, now we have a shortcut that, again, a lot of people ask me about. Uh, placing a block as a decoration. So, usually, uh, the decoration shortcut, this is skipping ahead a little bit, uh... Well, no, play- hold on, no, 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 we're actually on schedule. Place down a decoration to attach the block you were hovering over, so let's go back over here, and control X, you get the decoration menu, and then we can do all kinds of groovy things. Let's do, I don't know, decoration sphere. Let's melt our PC a little bit, and we can mess around with decorations, and that's how you do it. You'll notice, possibly, that this is lagging already, just because of all the little triangles that a sphere has. Be careful with spheres. Also, when you place a decoration, you can undo it. Well, no. When you place a decoration, you can't undo it with Control z But hold that thought, we'll get there. Align block. This is another one which, um... Uh, which is like... I don't even think about anymore. So, if we have this, and we hit G... We aim it, we essentially align the block with the camera. So, pointing this way, G. Pointing this way, G. Pointing up. G, pointing down, G, and that's just very helpful. It's a short way of uh, rotating your block, so you can hit tab and do all this kind of stuff. Or you can just hit G. In fact, I think I use G more often. I don't know. It's muscle memory at this point. I don't think about it. Now I'm going to think about it, and I'm going to be feel weird. All right, freeze vehicle. This is the caps lock key. So you've already seen me do this. Uh, caps lock when you're in build mode on a vehicle, not a fortress, it doesn't work on fortresses. That freezes it and actually levitates it out of the water if it's in the water. And that just means uh, you don't make yourself sick with the camera just rocking about, about and being all weird. And then caps lock turns it off again. And it's also useful if your thing rolls over. So if I do something like this, maybe I'm new at the game, and I don't know that you should not make your superstructure out of lead. And the thing is rolling over, roly-poly, and it's like, oh no, I don't want to build upside down, because that's exactly what happens, by the way. If your thing's upside down, so are you. Oh, my tubby is getting angry even thinking about this. Gaps lock. Uh, physics is, um, physics is uh, your servant, your slave. And you can just get on with your life again very conveniently. Just delete that. I dare someone to make superstructure out of lead. Actually, don't do that. That's silly. Okay, then. And next, place as decoration. So, I probably should have uh, done this in a different order. Like, going down the columns instead of across them. Oh, well. This is one of my favorite shortcuts. Uh, again, I have a lot of favorite shortcuts. So... Let's have a fun block. Steve, let's have a cram barrel because this is fun. Uh, let's put a cram barrel over here. Uh, so, control shift X, control shift X places something as a decoration. And this is so convenient, you just, because it means you don't have to um, 
fiddle around with the um, with the search function here. You just find a block. Let's just, I don't know, find a block. Let's do particle tube and control shift X. There it is. Beautiful, beautiful. And this you can undo with control Z. So I've done that. Control Z, control Y, control Z, control Y, control Z, control Z. Super convenient. Super convenient. It makes using decoration so easy. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So, uh, next we have roll left block, keyboard Q. So let's go here. This is uh, this is something that you only do um, with the tab, I believe. And same with uh, roll right, keyboard E, keyboard. Do, 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 And then we have replace, which is left shift. So say this is wood. Say I've got a whole bunch of wood here. And then, once I learn more about the game, I'm like, actually, wood, not the best armor. Let's replace it with metal. So we're going to go here, metal beam. And I could click, 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 and replace, replace, replace. Or I could hold shift, click, 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 click. And that's very, very convenient. And last but not least, and we've already covered this, we've got undo, control Z. And that's basically it. Those are all the keyboard shortcuts uh, in the build section of the keyboard bindings. Uh, like I said before, uh, it's all in there, so in case uh, this has been too confusing or too rushed, uh, you can go look at it. It is right there. Uh, if nothing else, I'm going to try and remember to use uh, Control H uh, more often, because that's just super convenient. We Doesn't always work, though. Kind of gets patchy results. But anyway... Um, wow, this fortress is a messy disaster right now, isn't it? Let's, um, let's look at our giant erect boat pointing at the heavens, because why the hell not? And, yeah, this is the thumbnail, why not? Okay then, that's basically all the building shortcuts that you really need to know. My goodness, this video was longer than I thought it would be. So, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps, and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters, and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.